All right, so Team Biden going on the offense, pouncing on Florida's Supreme Court for upholding the state's 15-week abortion ban. And while most voters still think the economy and immigration are top issues for the presidential race, more Americans now than ever say abortion should be legal. Join us now, pro-life activist and Centifonte strategy founder, Allison Centifonte. Allison, good to see you. I'm hoping I'm saying your, hope I'm saying your last name correctly. So listen, is, is this going to work? An election where people care about the economy, inflation, and the border, is abortion going to be a driver for this next election? I think so. I think what we're seeing is the Democrats are proving they are very good at killing things. Yeah. They're good at killing the economy. They're good at killing the border. And they're good at killing pre-born children. And that is what they're running on. And that's what the American people have to look at uh, in this election. What the Democrats are not good at is offering hope for a future that provides for families, that is a flourishing society that focuses on life instead of death. And my friends, the women I talk to, that's what they want. They are sitting around the dinner table talking about the border. They are talking about gas prices, but it's all because they care about their kids and they care about their family and growing their families. Mm. And so uh, this is a big distraction tactic from the Democrats to just focus on abortion because they can't talk about the border. They can't talk about an economy that's growing. Um, so I think abortion is going to be a, a great issue and it will be and is a winning issue if you talk about it like a winner. I guess, Allison, really in Florida, for example, where they're pouncing pretty hard because they saw the impact that discussing abortion had um, during the midterm elections and it took votes away from the GOP. They want to make sure that they can try to get Florida or have a good chance at it. It was a little purple, right? And then all these people flooded in from blue states yeah. and some are saying it got even redder because of those votes going down there. Some saying those blue votes may water things down. The question is what that demographic looks like and is a person that's going to care about a six-week ban on abortion, but still caring about all the other things that you care about as well, how will they vote? Sure. Well, I want to push back on this idea that abortion is not a winning issue. You have someone like Ron DeSantis who talked openly about rape and incest exceptions. He talked about his pro-life you know, agenda, and he won. You have Governor Kemp in Georgia who ran against very pro-abortion Stacey Abrams. He wins. You have uh, Marco Rubio, who talked about how his faith drives him to be pro-life. He wins. The people that don't do well are people like Dr. Oz. Where did he stand? We don't know. Um, and so I think for people that care about life, it will drive them. This is an absolute human rights issue, and pro-lifers and pro-life politicians would do better to be more specific about what we're fighting. We have the left running around saying the sky is falling, abortion is going to be illegal, birth control will be illegal. And yet most of, them, of America doesn't know what an abortion is. These polls do not ask specifics. Do you understand what the abortion pill does to a developing child in terms of starving it of nutrition? Mm -hmm. Do you know that right now, uh, for example, the IVF regulations, it's completely unregulated. We're just starting to talk about the ethics of these things. So specifics will help. I think pro-life politicians continue to lead on this, but we can't be soft on the issue of life. It is a core issue for us as a platform. It is saving families, allowing families. I know the Duffies have done a great job with that. I'm on my third right now. I say, let's do it. It's the most you know, revolutionary thing you can do is just build your family and, and, and push back against these policies that promote death. And you have to run against Democrats' radical positions. You have to call them out for being late-term partial birth up to the point of birth. That's what they want yeah. for abortion. If they do that, they can mm -hmm. win. Allison, love the common sense message. Thanks for being a pro-lifer. We appreciate you joining us on the show, too. Thank you. Thanks.